Yeah, the Hoosier Homestead is a farm that's been in the family for over 100 years. Mm -hmm. And basically to prove that, you go back through the, do a title search and show the continuity of the family through the, through the title search for the, at least 100 years. Yeah, so the original two-story part of the house you see here was built in 1890. And it was originally located on the, the other side of the ditch. Then the, the story and a half was added. 1911, 1912. Yeah, 1911, 1912, about the same time that they built the barn out back then. Uh, it's original. Um, I believe the, the newel post and the railing for the stairs and whatnot I have seen in old 1920s Sears catalogs. <laughs> One that looks just like that. So I would almost bet that's where it come from. Back at that point, you could get anything at Sears and Roebuck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the grandfather clock was um, from my grand. My grandpa had it, and it survived the Johnstown flood um, in Pennsylvania. And the corner cabinet was also built in Pennsylvania and given to us by my great aunt. Okay. So tell me yeah, it was built by uh, either a great uncle or a great great uncle, and it was made specifically for that spot in the house. Yeah, you can see the original, uh, under the original part of the two-story house is an old rock wall foundation. And a lot of these have been, been cut by hand to, to get a smooth side and, and that kind of thing, as you can see. Okay. Yeah, this was common practice back in the day, before the, before the cement block became quite so common. Okay, yeah, this corn crib, um, it's the old drive-through style. It does have doors on both ends of it, so you could drive straight through it from one end to the other. So corn crib is where they would store their grain. The uh, larger spacing between the boards was to help the uh, ear corn dry. And a couple flaps on the side there is where you could get ear corn out of it, and then the door on the, the end here was to empty it. Okay, th this half of the corn crib was divided into, into three separate storage rooms. And you can see them, and then it was designed here that you could put wood slats in as you filled it, and then the bottom one actually had a spout on it so that you could get get grain out there again to feed animals and that kind of thing, because you could put oats in one and wheat in another and that kind of thing. Or, yeah, so this is the inside of the of the corn crib that we saw from the other side, and it's got the it's more open with the wire mesh on the inside to help the, the ear corn dry and that thing and that kind of thing through the year also. Yeah, this is a be the farmstead barn. About nineteen twelve was when the barn was built and there's near as we can tell from tax records and whatnot. Uh, the reason for the little peak off of this side is where they unloaded the hay wagons. Underneath there you can see the the rail coming out for the trolley that's in the barn that had the hay forks on it. So they pull the wagon up beside the barn the two doors up there slide down on their rails and then you can run the hay fork out to lower it down, pick up the loose hay and back in the barn and pull it across the barn with the trolley and drop it wherever you want it in there then. So is that peak just to cover that apparatus? Or? It's to support the end of the rail. The, okay. Yeah, so it's got support out there and isn't just hanging, hanging on its own weight then. Uh, it's an old grain paddle elevator that they use for unloading ear corn. Um, all I've ever seen on is hay bales. We used it for putting hay in the, in the hay mile up there. Uh, those are, they call them mortise and tenon joints with the wood pegs instead of nails. Like for, for this one, what they would, see, I don't know if you can see this, but you can kind of see here where they've cut the beam back on both sides and left a, you know, it's probably about three inches long. Mm -hmm. And then they cut a hole in this one, mm -hmm. so they slid the two pieces together, and then they put the wood pegs in to, to hold it in place. Okay. Let me switch with you so I can see this side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 